and may Allah bari ta'ala, look, it is possible that in our lifetime we can change this country. It's possible. You just do a little bit of homework, a little exertion and Allah will do the rest for you. Because we don't have to apologize for anything. You know, Allah has put us in that such a position. You don't have to apologize for anything. At every step, it is the Christian who has to apologize for his religion. He must apologize for his Bible. He apologizes for his trinity. He apologizes for everything he has to apologize. You don't have to apologize for anything. So, go to town. And this is a privilege Allah has given us. Allah says, it's true. Allah has given you a deen. Master, overcome and supersede every other way of life. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Thank you very much, Mr. Didat, for a very lively lecture. We also thank each and every one of you who has come here tonight to listen to it. We would like to remind you that the free literature that you had been given should please be passed on to your friends, particularly if you have taken more than one copy of any one particular kind. The translations of the Quran in English and in Afrikaans are for sale. 750 each, two for 10 rands. The normal price, 20, uh, 15 rands for two and 10 rands each. The Afrikaans translation, five rands per copy. Tonight, it is four rands. We also like to bring your attention to the fact that the tape, the cassette tapes, will be ready. There are some already completed. And the videos will be completed in about three weeks from now. We have here, though, for sale already, a video recording of the program on SATV, SABC TV, Islam and Christianity, which is a copy of the debate that took place. This 25 rands, when you finish with it, you give it back, you get your 25 rands. So also for the videos of this series, write to Durban, send your 25 rands, get your copy, once you've seen it, shown your friends, made your 10 copies, send it back, you get your 25 rands. It is now, the lecture is over. There are many people who understand that if I go to a lecture, I expect to have the lecture ended and then I go home. It's rare to have a question time. Here, we do have a question time. But I say, if this gathering has been organized by us, then I do believe that we reserve the right to state the format. We will allow questions. We will allow you to come and make a statement. We will allow you to come and point out a correction. And yet the statement and the correction, if you know how to phrase it, you can turn it into a question too. But you're free to come and make a statement or a correction, and even a question. We do not see this as a debate. We do not see this as mudslinging or an argument. If you want a debate, please, on any of these subjects, Hire a hall, inform Mr. Didat, inform the thousands of the public, and let him sweat it out with you. But please, not a debate here. If there's any question that you have, please ask it here. I beg of you, do not ask the question outside. The man is tired, it is late. And I also ask our Muslim brethren, Please do not participate in questions outside tonight. I don't believe that we can gain anything from it. I also ask the audience that if somebody puts a question and an answer is given to him or he can't put his question, please don't laugh. 
we are tolerant. On the other hand, people putting up from the microphone, please don't become emotional. All questions must pertain to the topic that was under discussion tonight. I think that is fair. If they are reminded you now of the lectures on Monday night and on Tuesday night, Athlone Civic Center Monday night and at Kensington Civic on Tuesday night. If there is any question, please come to the microphone here. There's more than one question or somebody to point out the correction. You can stand behind. I will be as tolerant and as considerate as possible, but I will stop you and I will ask you please to sit down if you go beyond the limits. Thank you. Yeah. Instead of wasting time, if there's another question you, question you can queue up. Shh. Mr. Amadidat, the word crucifixion with a C, T I O N, where did you get that word? Because why? I went to the library and I picked take out a uh, Arabic dictionary with English and I was looking and I don't find it in all the other dictionaries because here I have it in the tool is written to prove it that there's no other word as you have said. Thank you. You see, I, I'm solving the problem for the Christians. They do not have a word in their language. The Oxford Dictionary hasn't got it. The Webster Dictionary hasn't got it. In the languages of the Christian world, there is no such word that a man goes on the cross, he goes through all the process, and he doesn't die. One verb, one verb for that is non-existent in any Western language. So therefore, I am trying to get them out of the misery. They are in a misery. You listening? I want you to listen, because now what I'm talking, you want to talk, so please, and have nice. patience. When you spoke, I just sat down, gave you a full chance. Now, just listen. So I want to get the Christians out of their misery of not finding a word. They're putting them in inverted commas. That book that is given to you, you see there's six times crucifixions in inverted commas. So what is the inverted comma for? That means it is not crucifixion. Then what is it? So therefore, I said, look, because you don't have a word, I am coining it for you. And very soon it can happen in the next Oxford Dictionary, you'll find this word coming in because they didn't think of it. I am thinking and I'm giving it to you. I'm putting that word in your mouth now. Whenever you say about that other fiction, you see Thunderberg, what happened to him? Was, there was, cruci was he crucified? So he says, no. What happened? Well, he was crucifixed. So you learn the word from me. If you keep on using that, the Oxford Dictionary and the Webster Dictionary and the all, they'll have to start adopting, taking our word and putting it into the dictionary because they didn't think of it before. That's how new words come in. So this is my creation. Thank you. Next question, please. Could you speak into the microphone, please? Right. Uh, just give me a break. Don't mind. Uh, Could you speak into the yeah, mouth, please? I will do that. This Mr. Dirat, uh, are you aware that the swooning, the the swooning theory that Christ swooned upon the cross or fainted upon the cross was first put forward by a man named Venturina some 200 years ago? It has been resuscitated in recent times by a Muslim sect called the Ahmadiyya. Uh, the next question will be... Sorry, sorry. I'm sorry. Is yeah. that a question? Yeah. So one question at a time, please. Uh, I'm, all right, thank you. But I thought I'll, I'll ask three so you can answer three one time. It's in connection in, with the same thing. All right, but I mean, uh, with, no, I'm, not, I'm not giving a pun, but I wouldn't like a trinity of questions. <laughs> That's one, right. please. Okay. Right. All right. Yes, for the next question.